hello hello happy sunday you guys hello welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing hope you guys are good i'm really sorry i've been ill as well uh just for a few days anyway you guys have not been you know i'm not feeling very well uh, and i think it's due to my uh medication uh my thyroid medication you know sometimes in me i need to see gp for them to tweak it up and down so i've not been sleeping very well so throughout the day i'm always really tired uh that's how i discovered the thyroid issue was there in the first place so i think the medication is a bit high they need to bring it down at the same time it has to be the you know accurate one anyway you guys uh don't let me bore you with all that hope you guys are doing well you are welcome back to my channel if this is your first time you are welcome my name is debbie if you have been watching but you're still contemplating whether you should subscribe or not what are you waiting for please click the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i upload a video or whenever i start doing the live streaming uh so today i'm gonna be you know showing you video about alima abubaka is not gonna be me literally talking to you guys i want to play the video to you alima abubaka actually you know decided to have an interview with gislova however as we all know gislova is a faceless blog and a good blog at that i'm just gonna take a few seconds to give kudos to gislova that blog is doing an amazing job you know i wish i can you know get to that stage whereby people will trust you to the extent that you can raise 26 million in 72 hours for people in need and this blog doesn't take nothing you will see the account of the person that needed the money the only thing this blog will do is to appoint someone to get in touch with anybody they know in that bank so that they know that this person is not wasting the money he you know just so was able to reach 26 million naira in 72 hours for these people even though some people are you know they are on japoro jebu you know what they call a like they are so unhappy that just over a blog could raise that i'm going to still bring that one to you maybe that one is when i will talk my uh my plan was to do this video a live stream but the interview was quite long it's, a, it's like 30 something minutes so i'm going to play it for you guys watch it this is the interview and it was princess the one that accused baba Ijesha, that time of uh molesting our uh adopted daughter that eventually had the interview done because the person that was doing the interview the guy called shane dream the network there wasn't so good so this one do it so i'm not going to play the previous one because it's more or less like hanging going back and forth but this one was quite clear even though there are some places that are hanging but you can skip it if you've seen the interview but this video is just going to be about the interview sorry for me going up i just want to do this like you know i don't do like pastors and politics you know i don't do a lot of that but this one people really need to learn it's not all that glitter is gold and it's not all that people that show up for you that they want to help you you take you don't take all help sometimes some help have a lot of string attachment that you need to watch out for and not just take it anyway you guys i'm going to play the video right now and if you watch it you like it because the part two is coming and maybe part three is a saga so uh you guys if you like it on your way out don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share if you like it if you haven't please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell before you start watching this video okay and i will see you in my next one all right guys yeah so many people are sending video requests so it was you know it's okay. Okay. So um all the while that you were sick, he um you said he only came once and then he didn't come again. Yeah, he did not, not he didn't even ask he never said that. I think um what he told me was that um after a while he was to go and die. I don't know Sorry, can you come can you come back? I didn't get that. What did you say? Sorry, what was the question again? Can you ask me? I said, did he check on you at all when you were sick? Oh, no. Oh, he doesn't do that. I don't think he's allowed to do that. 
You mentioned something now. You said was to go and die. I didn't get that. Oh, that's what he told me. He never asked of me. He, even throughout this period, even um, the other, you know, during my, um, during this whole issue. Okay. They would think somebody will get in touch to say, okay, how do we, when the story came initially, I quickly, you know, sent to him, what do I say? Said I okay. could die. That's what he said. I was still, yeah, I was still trying to protect him even then, because when this lover sent me the deer, I sent it to him. You understand? Uh huh. So um, he said I should go and die. Um, so I replied to this lover because okay. I mean, there was no point. When when you were sick, did AGN come to visit you at all? Anybody from AGN would have? No, no, not the first time, not the second time. No, they didn't come at all. AGN. <laughs> yeah, I can't be waiting for AGN. AGN got okay. really good that. You, you saw the list that this lover posted. There was a long yeah, list of people. Okay, so um, that list that you saw, do you think that there were some people that were missing from the list or there were some people that were not supposed to be there or something? Well, I wouldn't know except the ones he told me about. You know, okay. he, he name drops. If there is one thing he knows how to do, is name dropping. So okay. when he drops that name, you're going to, you know, bring the gossip that would come back to the person who he really wants to ask about. You know, okay. but um, no, um, um, what, what was that? Um, there was no, there was no name on the list that you felt, you know, okay, no, um, like, no, there was one dad that I saw, he told me she was his cousin. One thing you need to understand is, I think Nollywood, um, uh, people think I'm the one who brought out the story, it, okay. they you know, yeah, that's what they think. You understand? They don't know that um, the, the, the names were sent to me. You understand? And I just picked my own name because I know it's true and, and not lies. I am going through something and um, I've, I've not arrived, you know, as a very, I, I don't know what's going on with my life. Before I die, I need to say it. You understand? <laughs> if the person involved is, you know, not talking about my health. So that was what I implied. The rest of the okay. people there, I don't know what he does with his pants, you know. So I don't know how many people he has slept with. That's his PRs. That, 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 that work is for his PRs for them to um, go and debunk and do what they wanted to. But, but he said small compared to what he told me himself. And then wow. he, has, he has, you know, he has repented. So seeing my name there, while you have, you know, destroyed these people to me, and made me not have friends in Nollywood because of all the things you told me. You know, it was shocking for me to see my name on so many people because I thought I was the only one. At least, you know, there was one person who he told me was his cousin. No, who was his cousin? Not his cousin. You oh, okay. No, it's not, I don't want to. Um, it's not this one. Okay, yes. Go on, yes. I wanted yes. to ask you. My own, my own and run with it. Um, um, because um, at the end of the day, the person you have in the space is the person who is talking about you. Exactly. I mean, how would they know? How will I know the people he has slept with? Except if I'm there. Exactly. Or I brought the person myself. That's the okay. So you didn't introduce any of your friends to him? Um, no, not in Hollywood. Okay. Yes, you introduced your friends outside Hollywood to him? Yes. Um, we also heard about the two song thing that you used to have. No, no. You never, no, you didn't hear about the mother and daughter stuff. Like, mother and daughter? Yes. Who? Did you hear of any? No. Did you hear of any? No. no. Okay, so, but, um, when your story, when the thing came out, there were other stories that also came out. I want to try and cast your mind back. Do you remember the lady from Ghana? The Ghanaian lady. There was a lady from Ghana that became mentally unstable. Did you ever mention her? Who, oh, him? Yes. He never mentions all these things. These things are government that are following him. That's all till date, if you ask him. In fact, if you ask him, he might probably say AP or one of these people or P, whatever. He has people who can speak too, but it's not that he can't say that. But usually that's what he says. So, okay, I want to ask you a question now because I obviously 
know you've been through a loss. I don't know how much pain you have been through, but I want to ask you a, a question. And like you said, you'll be as truthful as you can. How do you feel now? How have you been cooking? How have you been faring? How have you been feeding? Thank you so much. My family, number one, um, had gone, you know. Um, um, my family, now I know, because, you know, I thought I had friends. Even if you hear that, oh, there is this thing that is out, you don't automatically feel that you want to give up today. Because if I am, you should be able to call me that, hey, what is this? Mm -hmm. now, yes. I have only three people in my room who calls me for the one year that this issue has been on ground. Wow. One year. You know, there are just about three, three, four people that called me out of probably a million people that I knew. So, no problem. No, How about some growth? Do you have any relationship with some growth? Yes. No, not my friend, it's for you. How about you? Can you speak with me? Okay. Don't worry, we are with you. I can hear you. Yeah. Sorry, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I'm just calm down. Don't worry. Just calm down. Take your time. Take a deep breath. I'm fine. You know. It's not okay. So I'm not going to give it to you. Okay, so you were going to tell me about how you were faring, and then I asked about Sean George. So, which one do you want to take first? I'm faring, I'm um, glad I've been faithful. Have you stopped giving? Have yes. you stopped giving? Yes, yes. Good. Yes. yes, oh God Almighty, that's a relief from me. That's a relief, and I'm so grateful. Though I went through hell and all that, but it's good that I went through it. Because I wouldn't have had, you know, a story to tell and to see the people who actually like me. So I'm going to say my family, my family, you know, they're my rock. When I was unconscious, they were doing their part of it. Because they are the ones who, you know, know the story. They know what I'm going through. And then when I go out and act like nothing is wrong, it's like, you know, it's crazy for somebody to do that. Can I ask? Yeah. Because yeah. You know, yeah. You said you were unconscious. Were you in coma? You know, yes, I was in coma for like three weeks. Wow. Twice. Twice. Yeah, because I didn't know, you know, if I was, uh, if it was, I, I just didn't know. The blood was just going. And I didn't know where it was going to. So, you understand, when I went to, um, until I got to the, the spiritual home, that was when I knew what was going on with me. I never accused anybody of anything. But then when something happened and you understand, you are avoiding that issue or you are trying to show me power and you know what I'm talking about and you know you're talking or you're trying not to be accountable, it's what I won't be. Uh, nobody will make me look like a liar. So that's why I allow people to know about what's going on my life. If not, I would have put it everything and nobody would have known anything. Okay, so some people are sending in questions. Um, what is really busybody. In my first woman that had no, I don't know if it was a thing. I was on my own when she was insisting that I should come to her and please be a guest for her. I have open her coronation or something. So, and she knew I was not feeling fine and she forced me to go on that trip. You know, okay. when you brought Suleiman Johnson's um, issue, and she just started talking about him. You understand? There was no connection between I, um, her and Johnson. She just brought the name up, which means okay. there was a reason for her bringing it up. I have never talked with you to talk about anything personal. You know, it was just a new friendship. You, you get. So, um, okay. I don't know why she, you know, squeezed herself inside somehow. And she was asking me personal questions. Which eventually, I think of Johnson. I sent him a message that says, I'm just saying this about you. And he told me she's a gossiper. That anything she says, I should not believe her. That she's okay. just lying. You understand? So, so, and then she came back to come and write that nonsense she was writing after telling me that. And after him telling me she's a liar, 
and he got it. And at that time, he wasn't even seeing me, but you know, he was replying, you know, one one, you know, you know, um, trying not to be accountable. Because I just inserted herself in a place where she was not doing That's why I had to come for her. Because you know, she liked carrying or she liked gossiping and that. She said too many things to me that I couldn't take that one. Okay, so um, that means while you were going through the hell you were going through and trying to just, you know, put up a, a strong front, she came and pretended to be like a friend. A friend. And then invited you to for this event, which you said, I mean, you were not strong enough, but you still tried your yeah, best to act. It was myself, Chacha AK. Chacha AK was there, myself, and Chacha AK. Okay. I don't know if you remember. Because I can see she's going through her own too. So okay. what is what is that's what I have to grant you? I have not grant that you yet. I've okay, do you think yet. did was church among the names that the um, apostle mentioned? Um, I don't know, but I'm just telling you who was there. If I'm okay at that time, I'm I'm, I'm saying my story and anybody's name can fly. Okay, okay. So I also you were you were, when you were talking about when you were unconscious you mentioned that you only saw maybe just three people from uh, no 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 actually yabojo came there the first time um, okay it was still yabojo's um, story that Sean George was talking about and the johnson told me yabo was his cousin so i know yabojo as his cousin so if you okay. can tell me yabojo is his cousin you can see everything was the right was was a mirage it was a what do you call it i don't know it's like a pathological liar. I can't show okay. you. Now, suddenly, then I'm like, oh my God, how can your cousin be among these people? Anyway, I'm just trying to tell you, oh, this is this, and anybody's name can enter because this is a true life story. There is nothing, um, um, you know, to be proud about. I'm just, um, I just want people to learn. You understand uh, that um, there are a lot of people out there who don't like you, and there are a lot of men who are out there to deceive um, women, and um, for us not to be greedy too. At that time, I was praying to God to you know, send somebody to me. I would like to you. So when he came, I thought, Oh God, you are nice. <laughs> I didn't know. You know, I, I actually, you know, that was a rock. I did so that means that was. That means from what you're saying, apart from the first 500k, he probably sent you more money over time, according to what you're of saying. Now we were dating. We started dating. Okay. Yes, so he was dating for six years. Wow, wow. Yeah. So, and so um, somebody said, okay, I think um, it was this one I said. I'm not reading the... Um, me too, I can't read it. That's why, because of the light, but I'm, I'm, I'm using this. So, um... You, I want to ask you a question. Go ahead. That time, the, after the period that he didn't call you, I want you to think back from that period till now, especially when news was flying around. Did he send you death threats? Did he send you voice notes? Did he threaten you in any way? Uh, yeah, the threat is for me to go and die now. You understand? Because he didn't think I'll come and agree that yes, yes, we dated, or yes, I was sick, or I had a spiritual attack, um, or something. He, I don't think anybody, including my own family, didn't know that I was going to come out and say it. Okay. I to it. You understand? Because the idea is to protect this person. When I found out, I was buying him caps. I was buying him, wow. getting him things to wear to just for him to you know disguise himself almost all the mm -hmm. cap is wearing i bought all of them wow yeah so you know it's like um I'm, i was trying to you know cover for him Come out for him. Look at him denying everything and lying to my face and then um doing what he did and left me in pain that would not have taken anything from him to just either send somebody or check some you know ask somebody to stay home <laughs> He even told me while this thing was going on was that somebody said if they could help me, he did not answer the person because he knows that I'm not a good person. Can you imagine? Help me. Somebody you dated for six years. Help. It has become help. And then wow. I went and died. So there is nothing for me to hide about this, you know. Um, yeah. So did he, did he at any point in time sue you for anything you 
posted or for anything you said? Did he did he see you or did he threaten to see you? Um, he did all that. I mean, we'll, we'll go and talk about our sex life there. I'm ready to go to class if he's ready. Just Has he charged you for cut already? No, he did not. He just sent me a, a, a seat and the seat letter. I'm not. I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of fighting. We can roll in the mud. No problem. If it didn't happen, that's when we need to explain further. Yes, but it happened. It happened, and, and there are so many things to back them up about what I'm saying. Okay, so now, what do you think? Do you think from what he's doing, as he obviously after the, the uh, during the time that you were sick, he purposely stayed away? So yes, I think, no. But the funny thing is that initially he was still coming. He was sleeping with me even while I was um. That's the dangerous part of it. And he was telling me he, he can't sleep with any other person, that's why. And that because it's me, you know, he's okay with it. I I am just, I am not, I, I, I it, the whole thing caught me unaware and I was naive. I did not really, and I wasn't a spiritual person. I didn't know if it was love. I didn't know what it was. But because he told me, you know, I'm the only person and he can't do anything like this with another person while I was bleeding. And that was, this was this was um, uh, how far after it started? Was it a month after, two months after, or when you just you know, you know when you just started? At that time, even at that time, when I'm on my regular period, he does that. Wow. You understand? So there is nothing up for him. When you said you made a statement, you said anytime you were with him, anytime you people had intercourse, you bled. Yes. Every time you were. I'm giving that rules any red flag. Did you ask him any questions? That's, what did he that's when we started going out. I was dreaming of him sleeping with me. Oh so my. Sometimes I would, I, was, I don't know, I noticed a shadow. It would be like, you know, I just saw someone. You know, even in Asaba, when I went to shoot, um, Mr. Titi, the speaker, I can hear me with that. I couldn't act. I couldn't read my lines. My director said, I'm not giving him what he wants. And then they had to call him. As the next person on my phone, because I was, you know, I was almost running mad. Something was going on, and my head was really banging like I was going to run mad. So they had to call him. They gave him 15 missed calls. He didn't pick with my phone. My mother had to give him 15 missed calls before he called. Then he now called the location. They now asked him to talk to me so that I can act, because I came to act in Asaka. When I got there, something entered me. Since then, till today, like, I don't want to be sit there because. You know, I don't know if I, I just don't know. I called him and he just said, uh, maybe I need rest. Like, sorry cannot come out of his mouth or what happened, or you know, he's always not knowing and all that. So, my mother had to, you know, actually to come to the village. I went to the village, started going about acting, you know, and all that. And he kept telling me that he was coming. That's the funny part of it. You get so we kept waiting and then I started taking English uh, medicine stop it because okay. if i sit down there is no way i will not flood that place with blood so oh my, it was that bad it, it was, was that bad. bad i couldn't sit if you go back to all the pictures i snapped on the red carpet you will see me with bloated on me with skin cuts those period were the period i was going through hell i was going through it did his wife know about you i don't know i don't know i don't know so she never made contact. What I'm saying and what I'm saying and what I'm saying, he was living uh, many lives because um, it's not double life again. It's many lives because I'm not the only one apparently. Oh, some, are, some are some are dead for real. The, the people I know, some are dead. For I don't people, understand. Please come again. Like you know, I know that no that he did that, that yes, that was bleeding too. She died. Okay. The other one had the spinal cord. She had an accident. She was bleeding too. You know, they all came to me. The other one is a musician. She's late now. I want to face him in court if we are going to go so that, you know, we can have a really nice, um, um, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? Try. You are not trying to defend yourself. Did you, this person, this musician came to you and you know, spoke to you he about him. He told me already that he told her we are dating, so she's going to come and act like my friend, which is the same thing he ever did. So, you know, um, my dear, this thing is deep. 
Wow. So the other person is now on the wheelchair. Yes. Oh. I and have you have their interviews. Good. So I, I was going to ask something before you. So when you were at the location, please make me understand, you were constantly bleeding. Yes. Continuously. And I couldn't read my script. I could that must have been because you lost too much blood. Yes, so I couldn't I couldn't say anything and you know it was just shameful. Something that you've been doing for years. Somebody will just come and destroy your life. And you're not the one calling him up and down. Somebody that you know shed tears to be with me. Something no. this is you this is the ring you gave to me, the wristwatch, the promise, as in, what, what was all that about? He gave you a ring, so you guys were engaged or something? He gave me a he ring. He proposed? He proposed? Yes, and even a promise wristwatch. I have everything here. So now, I want to ask you, now, we we have a period of when he didn't come. Now, we now have a period after the list came out. So now, I want to pick from that time now. From that time up till now, apart from the time that he said go and die, did he make fiscal contact with you? Did he try? No, to... no, no. He sent, um, he sent somebody to threaten me and tell me, if I do not debunk this, he will not talk to me again. And okay. I sent him a message directly that, what do you mean you won't talk to me? Were you talking to me before? Because no, I've not heard from him um, since um, 2019. Okay. And suddenly, you understand, if you don't talk to me for that long, is it now? I didn't even care about all those things until um, one, of the, one of the bloggers actually wanted to use me. She said, oh, this person was your ex, Abby, or you guys are still dating, I don't know, sir. She wanted to use her brain on me. So, okay. um, when she came, I'm like, why? She said, because I just commented on Yabo News page, and Yabo has been the one saying so, so, so to Johnson about me. The lady said, so I'm not going okay. to say anything like that for because she has been to my house, even though I knew there was small, even if she said she's discussing, I'm not stupid. Then she was okay. coming close to me. You understand? I, I I can't believe, you know, um yeah boy is so consistent. She came to my house separately. Then I gave her a I'm, I'm, my movie. She gave me a role okay. to which I thought was a sister lady to me. Was that period what well, the time that Yabo came to see you in your house. Was that the period when you were at home bleeding? When you said, okay. Yes. I actually cried to Yabo that my boyfriend did this and she was actually consoling me then. I was emotional. Yabo was okay. consoling me, you know, and then she went to tell him and he sent me a message that I'm going to tell every Nollywood story uh, person about us. I'm like, can you imagine somebody I'm hiding? I've never agreed to update you. So the lady asked me to go and delete that comment from the Apple's page, which I did. She now told me everything the Apple said. I'm shocked when she wrote that thing she wrote. I'm like, which said that said. Okay, so sorry, what sorry, which statement was this? Because you know, you know, initially you said you just wanted to say your own part, you didn't want to bring other people. But now that you mentioned the statement, which was the statement they asked you to you put up a statement, what statement was was it that you, you were asked to delete? You, no, no, I no, okay, no, I just said beautiful. Yeah, that, that's just cool. beautiful. That's all. I am always, you know, saying beautiful on her post. There was no maliciousness for anything. So we asked you to delete that post. No, um, the lady, I don't actually want to call her name. She did okay, okay. give the write up on um on this issue. You know, okay. um she came in to, you know, she came into my life with her own um malicious intent because she's been doing that anyway. So she now said I should go and delete it now now that I don't know my enemies, I don't know my friends. So does she... I went back after okay. hearing what she said and I deleted it. So okay. I followed the other. I okay. followed her. So when I followed her, I said, Wow, I can't believe. It. And I said, Thank you so much. You know, I can't she believe you told me this and all that. I was, you know, saying oh. She now said, but now she wants to she want me to do her a favor back. I okay. said, no, she, she wants me to send Johnson a message saying that she wants to write about both of us so that Wait. she can come in and bring us together and all that 
So is this person a blogger or is she in your industry? Yes, Stella Dimoko. She inserted herself. I wasn't going to call her, but she brought herself inside. So, okay. You know, I called him when my mom, my mom had, my dad had a stroke um, two years ago. So um, that's the time where I was chatting with Stella. And then I, I think I went to Ghana to receive an award. And she said, why didn't I tell her? You know, why don't I give her my kiss? I said, because I know her. I'm not, I'm not somebody to play anymore like that. I wasn't interested in anything she wants to write about my career. And then she kept saying she didn't know I was ill. She didn't know I was ill, but made her tick post about it. It's not necessary. So I, I, I you know, said, uh, I should send the story. Let him see. And I sent him the story. When I sent him the story, she said, oh my God, that's not what she said. I should send him. I didn't know I sent her a chat instead of the blog post. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so, so that means when you sent it to Apostle, yeah. Apostle to my mom told Stella. Please Stella now Johnson. His name is Johnson. Johnson. Oh, why? Oh, Johnson. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, I don't know him as Apostle, so don't call him Apostle, please. Okay, sorry about so, that. Sorry about that. So, so when you sent it to Johnson, Johnson contacted Stella that see what she sent me. And then Stella now said... He now said that she ignored he didn't answer okay. any of these messages all these years. Then he said ignore. When he said ignore, and now because then I already told him that my mother was ill, and then he, he was there insulting me, and actually told me that ah, do I know Suleiman? Is here insulting my parents and all that. Too. After telling him, yeah, he he was he doing that. I need money. So he now told he was talking about me, and the guest name is Chomo Okoye. The Chomo Okoye now told me that uh, yes, that um. Too late, he's talking about me and supporting my parents. So I now sent you a message that because I said, asked you for money. Money, you said, if there is anything they need to buy, we should let you know. If anybody gives me money, it's a problem. Wow. So does not allow you to collect money from other people? I, nobody. So that's the only person I know. I don't do runs. Everybody knows that. So I don't <laughs> understand. Senna was not saying he doesn't owe me. If I don't go and do this thing, he doesn't owe me anything. My dear, I was pregnant three times. Do you know that? What's your business? You saying he doesn't owe me. How do you know that? Okay, so that means while you were talking to him about him, that means he was in contact with Stella because she Stella couldn't have known. She now told me she thought I had a baby because I had to lie that I had a baby. So okay. she now said to him, she wants to come back and take care of my baby. How can you come back and take care of my baby? If I had a baby, is that how Stella is going to give my child away like that? Wow. She told me, that's an innocent child. If there was a baby, is that how Stella would take that baby and give it to Johnson? So this because means that, support. this means that all the while she was in contact with you, he somehow she was with her. Which is where I'm going because all the while she was in contact with you trying yes, to get you. That means she was in contact with him as well. Yes, she was sending people to my DM so that I can tell them what the problem is. You understand? That's why she went and did that PSA immediately because apparently they were fighting. She was the one who collected that money. What's the last business? It's collected 2.5. Stella was the one who collected it to, just to send it to me because I had to contact my mother. That's how she came about in this story. Sorry, I don't get it. He, Sulaiman preferred to give the money to Stella to give you that, to give no, it to you directly. No, she said, since I know now, and this is bringing another problem, he should send, you understand, because that's when he said he didn't want to help me until Stella said, I'm like, Stella, Stella telling you to help me. How is that for you? You're not even, you're not even angry that I heard it from another actress. He was telling Stella to tell me that he was not dating the girl, though. He's not dating her. What's my business? If it's not dating, okay. then what you're saying. Showing you that it's not dating uh, yeah. Shoma Yes, that's so, the problem. So he was trying to mend that thing so that maybe you people could still get back together. I don't know. But he didn't tell you. He said he wasn't going, he said he wouldn't have sent the money if not for Stella. Yes, no, no, no. He said that while this argument, because they, were, they started saying blackmail or something. Okay. That was the money I asked for. My dad, oh. was, yes. I lost three people in my house. She said it's a bogus story. I don't understand. Not like somebody's house. It's I don't possible. know what's bogus about it. What is bogus about it? If I say I need 100 million, she be somebody I know. 
I don't know now, where blackmail is from. Now, did she give the money to you? She did. She, she now said, she now said that. This, you know, Stella is the woman that I'm supposed to text uh, my history to. I didn't tell her uh, I didn't even anything. It got. And you didn't grant the interview? No. I didn't grant any interviews for anybody. Okay, so, because she so, just wrote that thing and inserted her own. And, you know, it's a PR now. You know, Stella is good at what she does, but lies too much. That book. She doesn't know where, where to stop. Okay, so I want to bring your attention to something. I think the battery, maybe this lower battery will soon go off. But if it goes off, I will come back live. You can join the live. So before that, in case it doesn't, okay, he said we should continue. So what I want to say now is that, say something, I want to say that from the whole the scenario we just described, because Yes. Could it even be that from it? He asked that he should come and meet you to see if you There's from. nothing he cannot do. They asked me for the thing. I said, um, oh, are they up? Money. Money. So what's the money? No, it was not that they got blessed in the bosom. I have it on my phone. Yes. The story and the bombs and all that. You shouldn't be the one telling me this thing. So, uh, uh, Justin should be the one telling me. You understand? I don't understand what yeah. they say. Die, you are telling me to debunk. Debunk what? And now, the person that was claiming she needed someone, she needed for that person, all of a sudden now has connection with him, is now the one bringing I'm not the evil person again. So, that's why I want you to look at it from that angle, that from yeah. the get go. It might be that to be sure that you don't talk. You understand? I mean, if I put the secrets with you, if I if I keep a secret with you, and I don't want you to tell a third party, and I now see that maybe people are saying stuff, I can send a neutral person to go and see. Maybe you will tell them the secrets. Are you with me? Because from the old issue, it seems as if that's what happened. It I seems as if I just said we are not, we are not in talking terms. She said she want us. To you understand? I know that. Uh, yeah, that I'm um, hungry. She didn't. But you know, I was ill, which I find very because she posted thirty things, thirty thirty publication on on that. You understand? So I don't understand uh, what she what she wrote. So Sorry, she posted that zero. The publication was it about your ailments or about your relationship? No, 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 no. About the uh, she wrote about us in two thousand and nine. That is either she gave him the number right from the one having her plan, or probably mm -hmm. I don't know because um, those things are um, a long time ago. I've known Stella like very long time ago. I've always the first time she wrote about it, I told her come on, and they suspended her and she told to destroy me. So I don't know if this is the method she used, but that's the wrong method because I don't know how to when you ask me something and I need to say the truth, I will say the truth. You understand? Okay. I'm not that kind of person that um, you are going to silence in any way. There is no power that so, I'm scared of anymore. When she came back to now ask you for this interview, this exclusive, you didn't see anything, you know, if a red flag because obviously years no, ago she, she said she wants to expose. Okay, she wants to expose him. Yes, that she knows some bad stuff about him. I'm like, what bad stuff? Everybody and at, the end, stuff. And at the end of the day, she was not the one that was speaking on his behalf. Yes, yes he knows I'm going to mention her name, and her name was never even in my mind to mention. But I told her not to put me in her blog. I'm in pain, so you want to use me to, to, to make money. And she kept saying, because the money came from her. Can you imagine? Did I ask you to come in? You did, you are not there. Even the what she, what was told me that. The phone was not with um, Suleiman. That Sule Suleiman told her that the phone is with Ima. Ima Black. That's his name. his name is Ima. Because she called me Emmanuel. I kept saying, Who is Emmanuel? She said that uh, Johnson is not with his phone. That she just heard him talking about it. That's why she called me to tell me. So it's a long issue. You can see that um, uh, the relationship is actually quite. It's not just a relationship. 
That's why so many people were in it, and I did not know. I was the last person to know that people are aware that we were actually dating or have dated. So everybody actually, you know, um, gathered to, sh you know, shred me because I'm going to say it's a setup that I fell into. Because okay. when I was praying to God, I didn't pray for Him to come into my life. That is not okay. the man God promised me. But you also, you, I, I like what you said at the very, very beginning. You said you just wanted to speak your truth. Also, to let ladies out there know that yes. it's just... Even, even when they tell you that they're not married, you should do, you know, your own investigation um, um, and background check to know really if what he's saying is true. And if you're here with him being married, then, you know, it's between both of you. If you're, you know, from a polygamous family and you want to go into a polygamous home, that's your own business. But for me, I'm not cut out to go break anybody's home. I was still. So subscribe and get that juice with the one and only Debbie Fashta. Yeah.